fun. It's Nancy the She's Got Yarn. Well, I finally, I'm almost caught up with Nan's next knots. Um, luck of the draw blanket. I don't know why, but I have frogged this thing like five times, finding mistakes. So I was advised to just put it, put it down. I I don't want to. I really like doing this luck of the draw, and um, this is really soft and squishy. Um, what I'm doing, and I finally figured it out, was well, I've got the stitch correct on the ends. My biggest struggle with blankets is the end. I don't do it right. I went back, watched the tutorial. So when I'm coming towards an end on this, this is um, crocheting with Elena, Alana, I think it's Elena. But anyways, when you're headed this way, you end it with screwed up already oh my god what is wrong with me wait no no that's right right yeah it's right so when you're headed this way you do a peak and then when you go on the other side headed back this way you do at the beginning only one cluster and then when you come down here i'm gonna do what i have to do is go peak one two at valley one two peak and i have to say that throughout the whole blanket each row that's the only way i'm finding my mistakes and um the last few rows i haven't made any mistakes thank you jesus I just almost pulled out a whole row thinking I made a mistake. But, I, you know, just, you know, there's some things you have brain fart. So, and I'm human. So, I'm only going to show. <laughs> I know today's Monday knit day. Didn't get any knitting done um, for a few reasons. Um, I, I've been exhausted. And, um my body's i was on zoom last night and fell asleep on them <laughs> they couldn't wake me up <laughs> that's bad so um i guess i needed the rest and um but anyways yesterday i uh, well i had last week i had bought a new sewing machine because i wanted to make some project bags and i know enough about sewing to be dangerous well <laughs> I made one bag last night and then I attempted to make another bag and I blew up the sewing machine pretty much. <laughs> it stopped working. It made this bat, this really loud noise and then it was like the gears were grinding. And I guess I got what I paid for. I only paid like $129, I guess. That's your low end. You can only make one project. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. I took it back. I thought I almost lost um, the war. I asked the girl, I said, I paid for a warranty. I said, will I lose that? And she said, you'll need to call the company. And I'm like, well, you're the company I bought it from. Anyways, as she was um, returning it, it came up that I would get my warranty back. It was only seven days since I had bought it. So, because I told her at first, I'm like, that doesn't seem fair because I'm going to go buy another sewing machine. So I got to pay for another warranty if I want a warranty. But I guess she didn't know any better. The, the registered letter, no. So I know I'm going to make a mistake because I'm crocheting and talking. And this, this, this thing can be a stinker. I really messed up on my temperature blanket. And it wasn't anything to do with Tina. It was just me. I know in my other video I said it wasn't fun, but it wasn't fun having to frog it is what I meant. It could have been taken out of content, context, and I didn't mean it that way. I love Dina. And I had fun doing it until <sighs> I had to frog the whole blanket. <laughs> so maybe next year I'll do one with her. 
but this I took a break this year. I just got too much on my plate. And um, but anyways, I wanted to do make some bags. I wanted to do that as for gifts. Um, nothing I do I do for me. A lot of this I do for to give other people, or maybe for gratification. You know that kind of stuff. But let me show you my first bag ever. Oh, before I show you, I um, what kind of inspired me. Lynette had been talking about sewing. Her, she's got her mother's sewing machine. Hey, Lynette, if you guys are not familiar with Lynette, she's Charm Grammy Crochet. Awesome. I love Lynette with all my heart. She, um, not only is she an amazing friend, she's an amazing crocheter and also does stained glass, but she also made a tutorial on a beach cover, you guys. Um, she, Hobie reached out to her and asked her if she would want to make something with yarn, free and get free yarn. So, yeah, she's she just finished the last series. I think she did it in like four parts, and then the fifth video explains what she would do differently. Um, she's talking about actually doing a. I think it's fine the way it is as a tutorial. The article is the the cover up that she made gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the yarn she used is nice yarn it's um twister hobie twister yeah it's hobie twister and um if i ever get it on the hook i'll share that with you but let me real quick go show you what i made and oh i know what i was going to tell you the person that inspired me was, I, I can't remember her name, but her channel is Little Bits, Little Bits of Bits and Bobs. You gotta be yeah. kidding. Little Drops of Wonderful. But anyway, she has tutorials how to make bags, but um, not only does she have excellent tutorials, she mentioned a name that we all miss dearly is Melissa Ham. We this community lost a wonderful person, but she she mentioned that she watched a lot of Melissa's sewing tutorials and she said that they're still out there. You know, she may not be with us today, but her name lives on and her videos live on. And I just wanted to mention that. Um I mean if you go over there, subscribe to her channel. I mean I'm sure it supports the family. You know, she left behind a husband and some beautiful children. And um, it was just nice hearing her name. And, um, and she's not forgotten. So, very talented. So, but also this channel, um, Little Drops of Wonderful. I, she, I think she may be, in, I thought she was British, but she may be from Scotland. I, I haven't looked really I haven't paid attention to that I just started watching her I mean I've seen her channel a few times she's a knitter and um, I think she crochets too but I've been watching her um, her bag she has three bag tutorials and all one is a drawstring tutorial the other she shows how to sew a zipper in a bag and the other one is real simple and it's really cool it's not just a straight bag it kind of flares out a little bit <laughs> I call it the Mary Poppins look, <laughs> but it it too is a drawstring, but it's kind of flares out and she hand drew the pattern and uh, I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. So, but let me show you my bag. Hold on. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Here's my first bag. Now I didn't have any batting in it. I wish I did, but only one mistake. Do you see it? <laughs> My pattern was sideways. Darn it. <laughs> well, you live and learn. But anyways, it's a cute little project bag, isn't it? I love it. I'll give you an idea how big it is. It's as big as my head. <laughs> it's bigger than this one. This one, 
I guess this is a sock project bag. It's not much bigger, but <laughs> I paid like 50 bucks for this bag. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know what I have in here. What do I have in here? I just have yarn in here. Um, so, but isn't that pretty? I'm so proud of myself. And last night before I blew up the machine, I'm making a bad, a bad, a bag for Lynn Como out of, um, I'm going to do the bottom in jeans. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I think I messed up. I'm going to start over. I think I'm going to start over. I'm going to start cutting up everybody's old jeans in the house. I don't think I made the bottom big enough. I don't know. I got, I got, this is how it, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't even have this one sewn on yet. But yeah, once you sew it on, this is what it looks like. And this is the box, I'm going to do the box corners. So once I sew them together, it'll make a box. I wish this was wider, but this is the legs. Um, and I'm gonna put the back pockets inside. That's what my plan is with this. And do you guys recognize this yarn? It's Pioneer Woman. Yeah, I got their yarn at Walmart. It was on sale and here's the inside. This is going to be the lining. I'm just doing white lining, and then I'm going to put blue jean pockets. So that's the plan for that. So, but I was having so much fun, and it, it just went bam, and then it started grinding, and then it stopped working. I didn't wait to see if it would start smoking. <laughs> so I returned it. So that's up and coming. And I think if I can get one done fast enough, I'm gonna probably make a project bag and put it in that giveaway that I have. That would be awesome. I have tags, but the tags are wrong. The tags say, she's got, and then it's a ball of yarn in front of she's got. It was supposed to say, she's got yarn too. And I remember approving it, but I swear it said, she's got yarn too. Anyways, it was an itsy channel and I know people struggle to survive in today's society. I, I didn't complain. So, but yeah. So repurposing blue jeans that no longer fit me since I lost some weight. But anyways, this is one of the bags that I'm gonna be, it's gonna be in the giveaway. I'm gonna fill it with yarn. You got a little heart keychain. And if I have any more, I'm gonna put stitch markers with puppy paws that are from My Precious Yarnery. Um, Angela with My Precious Yarnery, uh, she made me a bunch of paw stitch markers, said, you need these for your channel. And she made me like a dozen sets of like five. It was awesome. I think I gave them all away. I may have one left. I think I saw one in my drawer, but this is gonna go with it. And we got yarn on top of it. I've got more. Every day, I'm going to add to this box. Yes, it's going to be a nice giveaway. We got um, a Mary Maxim project. Look at that blanket. Is that not gorgeous? That blanket is gorgeous. And this yarn is very soft. It's called the Rose Garden Afghan. I don't know what I paid for it. Designed by Emily Armstrong. But I got it from Mary Maxim. It was on sale. And there will be more to come this week. So that's what I got in there. And hopefully a project bag. Yeah. And I finally figured out uh, sewing, you can trash your room. I have. I still have thread and material everywhere. But what I'm going to do is now that I understand the whole concept and the parts that I need, I'm going to cut a bunch of bags out put them all stacked together. If you watch that video, you'll mean, you'll know what I mean. And then when I get to that bag, I can just sew it all together, you know, or do everything like an assembly. And Miss Billy says that's what she does is an assembly. It's hot in here. It's cold outside. It's chilly outside. The temperature is 
What is the temperature here in Florida right now? Weather, weather. Okay. 52 degrees, sky's clear. <gasps> Excuse me, the lows tonight will be 45 at 1 a.m. So, 5 a.m. it'll be, 6 a.m. it'll be 40 degrees, so it's a little chilly. But, anyways, that's what I've been up to. I kinda haven't had the energy to do a whole lot. Um, been a slacker, but that's okay. I um, I know I made a schedule, but it, once it starts to stress me out, I'm gonna back up a little bit because I want I want to have fun, and yeah, my schedule's full. But I'm gonna just do things. I'm gonna try to keep a schedule, but if I can, I can't. So, so next Monday we will have knitting. Um, I've done a little bit of knitting, but I haven't done enough really. I'm. I'm gonna show you stuff that I've been working on, you know, a lot that shows progress. So, um, what else? Oh, I know what I was gonna, this is something I wanna do. If anybody has ever done this, let me know. I am doing, hold on, let me get it. You know, I'm doing those tiles, the tiles with um, Sam Manfa makes. And if you're not subscribed to her channel, go over there and. Subscribe to her, Sam and Mike. Manfa, M-A-N-F-A, apostrophe S, makes. Um, she's in England. I hope that's right. I'm going to stop saying where people live because they never say the right, <laughs> the right thing. <laughs> she's got a British accent. I love to listen to her talk. I could listen to her all night. But anyways, we're doing a tile a week. And out of all the tiles I've done so far, this is my favorite. And there's actually a mistake in there. There's too many on one of these. But um, what I want to do is I bought these canvas things. I think I got two for six bucks, so three dollars each. I think I got them at Michael's a while ago. And this is 15 by 20. I want to I want to put this on here and do a couple like a couple tiles, different tiles, but I'm gonna use on the next several tiles, I'm gonna be using this yarn. It's Glam Yarn by Big Twist. I really love it and it's glittery. I'm gonna, if anybody knows how I should put these on here, I figured Mod Podge, Hod Podge, I've got the stuff, whatever it is, Mod Podge, but maybe Mod Podge it on like brush it on the canvas and then put the tile down and then brush it again. It may lose its sparkle, but I don't know. I um, I wanna make some art with my crochet. And um, yeah, all I have is really pa pastel -y colors. I've got like pink, blue, there's a darker blue. I think there's one yellow and one mauve, but um, yeah. So tell me what you guys think and what would be the best thing to adhe adhere. I have some of that spray stuff. You know, you spray it. Um, I bought it for sewing. So, but yeah. So I want to kind of change things up a little bit. Do something, put a little swag. <laughs> you know, um, I would like to use some of my Hobie cakes i've got some crazy colors beautiful colors but it would probably take me forever to make something i might try one of them like maybe do a big mandala a big mandala and like rainbow or a pastel rainbow and put it on here i know my granddaughter that um she keeps calling it a dream catcher it's i hung it above my doors i've got all my stitch markers on like a, a ring and I did like kind of like a mandala a mini mandala and she calls it a dream catcher she wants me to make her one and I have a ring I haven't you know I haven't done that but I need to use my cotton you know so but right now I'm gonna I'm gonna use this so 
Let me know what you think. Maybe you have an input. Y'all, before I forget, I want to thank everybody for all their kind words. Um, I hit my 3K, and of course, you guys know I'm celebrating. I'm doing a big giveaway. And I have a box that I'm going to fill every day with a little bit of yarn. Yeah, so you've seen one is I got a bag with the kit. Well, anyways, Nina's Knots Crochet. She's a pretty new channel. And um, Nina, thank you so much for all your kind words. She, she made me cry in her last video. It was really sweet. And I, I want to thank you, Nina. She is a new friend. She's a dear friend. I love her dearly. Her channel's taking off, and I'm sure she'll she'll surpass me. She she does she does crochet. She does Tunisian, which it's Tunisian's not nice to me. <laughs> I can't do it. She's knitting now, and I'm sure there's more that she can do, um, but. She has great content. She's a Zoom sister. She's a crochet sister. I enjoy um, time sp spending time with her. Um, she doesn't live too far from me, so we could hang out together too. I'm hoping, I'm getting my pool fixed, you guys. I don't know if I've mentioned it. Um, there's a few times I attempted to take pictures and there's guys outside and I don't want to bother them. My husband's like, don't go out there, honey, because I don't know what I'm stepping on. Maybe wet paint or, but I'm having like the surface redone. They ground the surface. They've resurfaced it. They've painted it. Today they were putting new tiles in. They've scraped out the old pool grout and they've put new concrete in there. And so we're getting it ready for the summer. So, because Kirkland, I said, Kirkland, you don't spend time with Nene anymore. She goes, well, when are you going to get your pool fixed? I said, I'm getting it fixed. And she's like, yay! So, I'm glad she loves me for something. <laughs> I guess there's not a whole lot to do here. Hang out in my yarn room. I've taught her to crochet. Um, she's, she, I, every time she comes, I say, you want to crochet? And she, you know, she'll say no. Or sometimes she'll say, yeah. Um, she has an iPad. And it has like clamps. There's like a, it's not a leash. It's a handle. It's like a purse. She puts it, she puts it around her, her mom. It has clips on each side. It's a long strap. But anyways, um, she puts it in front of her and she plays her little PBS games and her little brother. I know a lot of people aren't, don't like stuff like that. Um, her parents limit her. They have no limit when they're with me though. Um, the sky's the limit. Cheetos for dinner, donuts for breakfast, you know. <laughs> but um, Gunner, my grandson, he's four. They're growing up so fast. She's going to be eight on the 28th. He's going to be four. I mean, he's four. It's like, where did it go? The, my sweet little babies are all growing up too fast. But, um... Gunner kept bugging her, and she's like, Gunner, quit. Leave me alone. He won't leave me alone. And I got him one of those little, I think it's a fire pad. It's a little blue pad. It's like a laptop, but it's little for kids. I guess you could use it for big kids. I don't know. But anyways, it wasn't too expensive. I think I paid like $45, $50 for it. Anyways, he didn't want that. He wanted to play with his sisters. And I was like, you know what? I have some old iPads in my desk underneath that I haven't looked at in a while um they one I had given Tiffany for her kids and Tyler had one so two of them are kind of connected to my cell phone system they were free and if I use them it's ten dollars a month something like that anyways they were part of my phone deal with my business so I pulled them out and um while I was charging them I came across an old um it was an AirPod, iPad, but it was Air iPod or something. I mean, I think it's like 10 years old, probably older. And it's as old as Zeus, I think. But anyways, the kids got it for me one year at Christmas, and I always plug them in every now and then and let them update, because if you don't, you won't be able to work them anymore. But anyways, I plugged it in, and everything worked. I was able to log in, and I gave it to Gunner, and he was so good and he was like thank you Nene and he goes can I take this home and I said you you need to take care of it like your sissy takes care of her so it'll keep him out of her hair and um I don't know I gave it to him I 
I've got two right here in front of me. How many iPads can you have, right? So the one I paid a lot of money for doesn't do very well. It's not cellular, and I didn't know there was a difference. This one now, I have this problem. Every time I do a video, um, my cell phone, the volume turns off. I don't know what, so half the time I don't get my texts and half the time I don't get phone calls because my phone's turned off. Well, this one's hooked to my cell phone. So, um, for, for example, Lynette called me. This wasn't ringing, but my iPad was ringing. It doesn't turn off on this. So it's like, yay. So, cause you know, sometimes I, you know, I'm getting better about checking my volume, but, um, yeah, I have to check my volume. If I don't, it my volume's off. Let's see if my volume's off right now. Yeah, it's off. Completely off. Oh, lovely. I don't know why that's off. I just got... But anyways, Tiff called me tonight, and my iPad was ringing. And I'm like, thank God. I've been missing a lot of phone calls. So... But yeah, Nina, thank you so much for all your kind words. She's she's such a sweetheart. Everybody's been so kind. Um, and uh, I just appreciate it. I'm, I'm feeling the love. And I really appreciate it. So, well, I think that's about, I think I covered everything. No knitting today. I Next Monday. I gotta catch, well, I'm caught up now with this blanket, but that'll help me catch up on some stuff that I'm, I'm a little behind, because, you know, my schedule, I have good intentions, but, you know, I'm human. Things happen. I watch the kids over the weekend. Yeah, nothing. You don't get nothing done when kids are here. <laughs> Not me, anyways, so I'm a little scatterbrained as it is, but, yeah, I started sewing, so to get back to the sewing machine, I took it back tonight. Yeah, and I bought on suggestion by the Crafty Floridian, who is a sewer. She makes, a, everybody has a billy bag, and I. she told me I'm getting a billy bag this year, so I'm excited. But she pulled out all her materials in Zoom. I watched her clean out, you know, clean out her closet, and she found a bunch of material that she forgot she had. And there's one that, I can't wait yes it has dogs on it but um I took the um sewing machine back to Walmart tonight and I got she said get a brother I had bought a singer the one that blew up so she said get a brother so I went up I paid it like $129 for the singer I ended up paying $1.99 for this brother. It says that it's a high end. Um, it says that it's an elite model. So hopefully, hopefully um, I won't kill it. <laughs> so I can finish my bags. And while I was in Walmart, mm -hmm, Mad Mimi's going to double dog dare me not to ever buy anything. That won't ever happen. She won't. She double dog dare me not to buy yarn because I need to use my stash. And she's correct. I do need to use my stash. But since I started sewing, okay, I found some material. I'm not going to tell you who it's for, but um, okay, tonight I found this. to get it. I'm going to make a bag for somebody that loves this. What is it? Nightmare Before Christmas or something. I've never watched that. I never watched this, but some people love the characters. And then I got um, uh, also one with villains. Cartoon villains. I forgot her name. So, I don't know what other villain. She's the only villain, I think, on this. You'll see the end product when I make the bags. And then I figured I'd use this for, for lining. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what bag, but I bought a couple of those. These were, some were like $3, some were like $2.97. I 
think this was $2.97. This was like three something. These were, I think, five, five something, you know. And then I know I got more than that. One, two, three, four, five. But anyways, I bought the whole roll of this. Is this not beautiful? Purples and blues. So I'm excited to make some more bags. I used, I've made scrub tops. I would, there was a time when, um, before Dr. Cusimano passed away, my old boss, before he died, he told us we could wear anything as long as they were scrubs. Well, I made a few scrub tops and I conquered the V in the scrub top. That's the hardest part. Yeah. I, one time I was just telling one of the girls in Zoom the other night, I made a scrub top. I stayed up till like two o'clock in the morning to finish this, determined to finish the V-neck. And um, I got it done and I wore the top to work. And the girls at the clinic said, Nancy, you got a hole in the side of your shirt. <laughs> I had a big old gaping hole where I guess I didn't sew very well. <laughs> but we were allowed to to wear, you know, this kind of stuff, our tops, you know, make them fun. But then my, my boss passed away and another physician bought the practice and we had to wear, I called it carpet green, hunter green scrubs. There was green, gray, and navy blue. The navy blue wasn't so bad, but the green and gray, and it was like, he wanted to buy the uniforms. We had to wear them and they were like, after the first wash, they looked like they were old. It was awful. It was the ugliest uniforms. Yeah. I retired shortly after that. <laughs> you know, if you look, if you don't like what you're wearing, you know, I mean, when you get up, you want to look nice. That kind of picks your spirit up, right? No, he wanted everybody under his thumb. He was the kind of boss. He would wear a red tie, and that meant he was going to fire somebody that day. I was warned of that. I witnessed it. It was awful. It was awful. I mean, he was a good doctor, but somebody must have been brutally, brutally cruel to him to be so awful. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to him. He's not worth the time. But anyways, I think that's all I have for Monday. Sorry I'm not on my schedule, and my whip wall looks pretty big. Four of the things over there on my whip wall. Where is it? Right there. Four of those bags is knitting, I think. One, two, three, four, yeah. One's holding yarn for one of, one of the sweaters I'm making. <laughs> so... Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this. Again, thank you everybody for all your kind words, for getting me to my 3K. I just wanted to reach that goal. I don't know why, but I'm happy. I was happy before, but you know what I mean? It just, it, it feels good to reach that number. And I appreciate um, Nina for all your kind words. She, on her videos, she said some really sweet things and very heartfelt. It was very warm and nice. Congratulations to my 3K. And you guys also, I appreciate everything. I'm going through all the comments. I'm like so behind. I know. I'm a sorry dog. <laughs> but I've been just, I want to travel through the rest of my life happy and enjoy things that I do. And I do enjoy crocheting. And I enjoy knitting, but sometimes if I'm under too much pressure, I won't enjoy it. And I don't want it, you know, I don't want to not enjoy it. So if I don't stay on track, it's because I want to continue to love what I do. So, all right. Well, I'm going to leave you at that and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is, oh, I got to, I got to get going. I got to, I'm going to finish my bod hat. Uh, I enjoy hers because I don't do the whole hat. I just do the headband part. 
So I hope I can do it. It depends on, sometimes when it starts from the top, I'll just chain here just so that I have, like the last one I did was single crochet and then it ended in single crochet. It worked out well. So far, so good. I've been able to do them. And one of them, I made the full hat. So yeah, my grandson, he loved it. I gave him the hat. He wore it <laughs> all night. He was so cute. So, all right, guys, you know, I love you. Thank you so much for all your kind words and supporting my channel. New and existing comers, subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Mwah!